To take out the rabbit hole, I'll be showing you different designs you can do with the Wilton 2D piping nozzle with any buttercream to pipe on cakes, cupcakes and more. simple piping swirls. You will need your tip filled with buttercream of your choice and start off by applying even pressure. Start off in the beginning and then swirl up all the way around going around once but building up higher as you do it to make it get taller. Now you can practice this on parchment paper as I have now. You can even do it on a cake but be careful you can just kind of wipe it off. Next we'll be doing like a plat kind of shape which I really like. For this simply apply pressure to one side and then drag the icing in the opposite direction and kind of releasing it wiping it against the cake or the board or whatever you're doing it on continue doing this for as long as you want you can even make it curve by going round this rope effect is really simple too start off on one side and keep swirling all the way round but keep going try and keeping it even the next design is pretty similar to the first except they're like small rosettes which can be great for floral designs Designs. You start in the middle this time, but slowly work your way out and create this effect. You can do larger ones to cover a whole cupcake. This design is like ruffles, pretty simple. Just keep applying pressure, but move your hands backwards and forwards to create that effect. Another ruffles design is adding small squirts of icing. Instead of vertically, you're kind of doing it from an angle from the side and keep doing this to create this petals kind of effect. In the same way, you can do this, but apply pressure and press it and drag it across. A bit like the plat, but going vertical. Next for this design, the little squirts again as well. Just apply pressure and then release quickly to create that point. You don't want to kind of drag the icing with you. This one is a swirl once again, starting outside, slowly working your way up. You can do this close together to create a border, however, on cakes or whatever you like. And these are also nice to put biscuits and other things on top too. Another way of doing ruffles is going all the way around with your hand in a motion to create this double ruffle effect as well. So that was it for today's video. I've showed you lots of different designs that you can do for cakes and others. Just feel free to ask if you'd like a video like this for cupcake designs or more of these kinds.